tutorial is on another UDK tutorial. Uh, it's on the uh, use of uh, uh, fluid surface properties in terrain in UDK. What we're going to do is uh, start with uh, by creating a terrain. So we'll go on to Tools, New Terrain. Um, go with the defaults for now. And it'll create a, um, uh, a terrain default. Click on the terrain and br can bring it into view. Uh, terrain is used for uh, outdoor landscapes uh, mainly. Um, in this case, we're going to use it to define an area for water for our, uh, for our uh, project. Um, so again, this is the train. We'll go into the train tool, which is located here in the modes. And we're going to first toggle the wireframe on so we can see what we're doing and increase the, uh, the tessellation, which is the subdivisions of the model. As you notice, I click it a couple times. That'll get us better detail. You'll see if we click on the paint and then a brush at uh, this resolution, we can, if you hold the control key, it'll actually raise if you hold the uh, uh, control key, it'll raise the uh, train and make mountains with the control key inside. Uh, you can change the strength here and the strength down so it's not so fast. What we're going to do is create a, an area for the a lake system for, uh, for our, our water fluid surface. Um, after you get um, somewhat of a train uh, looking valley, um, we're going to want to create a paint layer. You just zoom out here and just do a. And we're going to want uh, some type of uh, rock, and we'll get a rock as the uh, as the uh, flu as the uh, surface of the uh, the lake area. So we're just going to create a basin area. Uh, that might be a little bit high. There we go. So then we're going to create a new layer. So you right click in this uh, this gray area, go new train setup from material. And uh, now there's no material selected, so we have to go in here, search for search for dirt, and into the UT and we'll get uh, many types of dirt stuff. We'll pick this rock dirt here, have that selected, and create that from material. And what it should do is automatically place right on the site. So we take the wireframe off in the terrain um, toggle here. Um, let's go out of uh, back into the height map here. Uh, let's take the terrain off. And we're still in paint mode here. Get out of the paint mode. We should get rid of this again here. Um, anyways, there's there's a train in here, so now we got a um, um, uh, print properties in here. So now we're going to add water, fluid surface water, to this. So we're going to go into the content browser, um, get rid of this, and uh, bring this up. We're going to go into the actor classes and look at what's called the uh, fluid um, in surface actor. And what we're going to do is right click and add that here. And what it creates is a fluid surface for us to use for water. And so we're going to go again in the materials editor, um, search for water here. We're going to be very specific about the type of water that we're going to bring in. Um, we're going to bring inside here um, uh, not only just a normal water, but we're going to bring in a water that's. Uh, related to the fluid surface um, water actor. It's called M underscore fluid actor water. So select this and and you can see in here you've got um, a fluid surface actor. Click properties. Go under the uh, the uh, fluid components and in their material click on use selected material and you'll find you now will have water uh, within your uh, your scene, um, and uh, what's really neat about this water, I'll just exit here. Um, um, you can modify a lot of the properties of the water. Um, so we'll go into the properties, oops, sorry, the uh, properties of the water, and we'll bring a scale factor up, bring the fluid height scale, and 
and you can actually play in real time the water um, and play around and see the different heights. Um, we'll go down here and you can see the height of the water um, and you can actually change a lot of parameters. One of the really neat ones I like is a fluid debug. You can test a ripple and what that will do is show you the ripple effect of the water inside uh, um, inside the, uh, the package. Take a look at that. Now you might want to rebuild the lighting at this point. Uh, just we'll just um, uh, go build all for this particular application. And you might want to set your player start on top of the train so you can get a good visual of uh, the uh, the uh, of the project. Um, hopefully that helps you with water and train. Uh, uh, make sure you select the right one and uh, and have a good day.